Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight. I know in the last video we tried out some multiplayer with our good friend Gleason9 running into each other and other such uh, juvenile acts of destruction and mayhem, uh, but I'm back in Microsoft Flight because I saw that for a limited time, if you look on the left there, you can get the exclusive Red Tails P-51 Mustang for free, which is normally one of the pay-for you know, add-ons you can buy for the game or whatever, so uh, I went ahead and got this uh, and endured what is probably the most painful and just absolutely ridiculous add-on installation process known to mankind, courtesy of the Microsoft Games for Windows Marketplace or whatever the hell they're calling that thing. Um, absolutely horrendous. I'll put a link in the video description if any of you have this game on how you can get the P-51 Mustang for free for a limited time. I'm not sure how limited this time is, but uh, today is... What is today is June 20th, 2012, so you can check that out for yourself. It requires you to sign into the Xbox Live thing and then download the add-on and then install the add-on, but then launch Windows Marketplace and enable the add-on or install the add-on again and then just completely convoluted something that at this day and age could all just happen in game but nope <laughs> not the way microsoft set it up anyway uh but anyway i have the p51 uh, if i go to my hangar yep got it it's there uh the weird thing about the p51 is that they didn't i guess model the interior so uh only exterior views are available which is okay i guess in the way i play the game but uh got the P-51 Mustang. Uh, we're going to select the aircraft. There aren't, uh, there aren't any uh, specific activities, perhaps because it's a free plane. Uh, there aren't any specific activities that, that you can do, or missions. The only challenges and missions are for the, the Stearman, which we fly before, and then the, that, uh, whatever the heck this thing is, the Icon A5. So, uh, unfortunately, didn't unlock any of that stuff with the free airplane, but we're just gonna select an air. Oop! Actually, I want to choose free flight. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. Um. <laughs> uh. Uh. Ba, ba, ba. Paint schemes. Oh. I was gonna say. Um. We're gonna go back. We're going to choose free flight. Uh. I'm going to select the airplane or the the airport. Uh. Flight conditions. Squalls. I've selected squalls, which are sudden shifts in wind direction, intensity accompanied by heavy rains make flying a challenge. So, uh, we're going to make this a challenge, uh, and we're going to go there, and we're going to choose it for right now, uh, the time and date. I'm going to go to... What do I gotta go to? I gotta close that. Select that airport. I'm gonna say, take off. Altitudes over 12,000 feet could be hazardous. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Alright, my engine has started. Ooh. Uh, okay, let's see what uh, camera angles I have. Hey, that, that would be fun. Yeah, this is the quote-unquote cockpit view. Uh, free look. That's really close. I like the free look. Oh, pass it up. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, get a little bit of a... Uh, I guess I can't. I was going to get a little bit of a higher view. Oh, well. We'll try this out. Uh, I guess we just throttle up and go. <laughs> uh, very interesting rain effects, I guess, but... Uh, ooh. A little bit of a crosswind. Easy now. Easy. This antique airplane. Nose down. Oh yeah, a bit of a crosswind. I'm dragging my knees across the pavement here. Alright, pull back on the stick. Oh, hey, okay. I did not tell the gear to go up, but it did. Okay. I'm just checking to make sure I have control of the gear. Things to be going, uh, seems to be going automatically. Alright, I want to get like a... How do I get a higher... There we go. That's the view I like. Alright. Got flying. The Mustang through some squalls. Do I have guns? No. <laughs> I think that's the break, actually. Um, I appear to have chosen 
There's like a city or something over there. I was going to say, I appear to have chosen a really isolated airport here. Uh, there are also those uh, arrow cache hunt things that uh, Gleason and I played around with for a little bit. I didn't look up any of those. Gosh, this airplane is fast. Alright, let's throttle down to like 80. Um, and here we are in the P-51 Mustang. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't... I, I was wishing there were some sort of missions or... Uh, ooh, helicopters. Uh, uh, challenges or something associated with this plane, but because uh, I heard uh, Gleason 9 tried the landing challenges with the Stearman biplane, and he said those are interesting. Trying to land on these rickety dirt, uh, you know, and gravel landing strips that are like in between trees and stuff is always a challenge, so maybe I'll try those eventually. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's give this uh, building a buzz job. Let's scare the retired condominium owners. I appeared to go through that building, but okay. <laughs> we'll give the clipping issues a pass there. Ooh, what's that? There's like a mountain in the distance. I know where I'm going. Alright, I'm going to pull up a little bit. I wonder if you get above the clouds if this crappy rain effect stops, because it's more like I'm going warp speed in the Millennium Falcon than rain, but, uh, ooh, this thing climbs quite well. Indeed! Uh, but yeah, I'm here. Uh, I, I'm actually, to be honest, I plugged in this game because I'm scrambling to get a video up today because, uh, as you may know, I started playing Limbo as kind of a speed run, and on episode three, before it went live, uh, I got, uh, as I mentioned before, one of the the almighty copyright notices, and it wasn't from the game makers, and it wasn't from IGN, as some people have had problems with. Uh, it's just another one of these companies whose apparent sole purpose to exist is to just, uh, you know, claim copyright on things that they don't own, and then just hope that you don't dispute it, and then they make some money off your videos. So, uh, if, if you are the kind of person who uploads videos to your YouTube, and you get one of those things, and you're absolutely sure you have... Uh, permission to upload such things, there is a bit of turbulence, uh, then, uh, you know, dispute that crap. Dispute it! Get a dispute job. And then, uh, I gotta stop doing that, I apologize. <laughs> it was funny at first, but I'm, I'm, I'm overdoing it. Uh, indeed. Uh, but yeah, so, I, I'm, I didn't have a video to go up, so I'm like, uh, Microsoft Flight? And I happened to see that the, the Mustang was available. Boy, I really wish I, like, spawned an area with, like, some bridges I could fly under or something. Oh, I guess there might have been some back there. Oh, well, I'm going to the mountain. Or, I guess this is a volcano, to be specific. Here we go. Oh, I don't really like that the, uh, the camera... Oh, God. <laughs> pull up! Pull up! Pull up! Don't snap the wings off! Ooh, very nice. <laughs> ah, I don't even know if that's possible. I, I forgot what trim was. I remember in that, that flight tutorial they were teaching me about trim, but I didn't... I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, let's try a difference. Ooh, okay. Yellow! Okay, this is the the one that's a little bit more pinned to your wings. Okay, I like that. That's fine. It's a little bit more... You can get more seasick by going... Ooh, ooh, yee, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, indeed. I guess I can tell a story about my first plane flight. Um, <laughs> what was I? I, had, I was like under 10 years old. Uh, we were going out to the East Coast. Uh, I have family out there. And uh, first time I was on a plane... I was fine throughout the entire flight, uh, but then uh, coming in for a landing, we had quite a bit of turbulence, and, you know, up until this point, I wasn't afraid of flying. I was always a big fan of airplanes, going to air shows and stuff like that as a kid, and I was very excited to be on my first flight. Uh, there was quite a bit of turbulence uh, on the way to landing, and uh, I was sitting next to my sister, 
and uh, she said she looked at me like after we landed and she said my face was like as green as grass <laughs> and uh, you know I was like uh, a sudden change of disposition and uh, I don't feel so good and uh, my mom tried to in, in panic get the old barf bag out in time but uh, it's a little bit too late uh, so uh, long story short uh, my sister departed the plane a little bit uh, <laughs> with a little bit of my lunch on her I'll just say that much so uh, yeah that was my first flight experience um, since then I've been fine uh, and, and I enjoy flying and, uh, and I know sometimes I say traveling gets me nervous it's not the flying that gets me nervous I love flying I love getting the window seat that's always the seat I try to get but uh, uh, in terms of flying it's just all the the lines and the possible delays and then what effects that has on the rest of your plans and all the money that goes towards it and trying to get a good deal blah 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 that's the part of traveling that makes me nervous flying is pretty awesome <laughs> ah <laughs> vomitus maximus that was my nickname. No, I just made that up right now. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, since then I've been okay. And actually there was, uh, speaking of air shows, that'd be in like the sixth grade or something like that, there was an air show at a local airport and they were taking people up in like, you know, the little four-seater Cessnas and stuff like that. And I happened to go up and I got to sit in the co-pilot seat and the guy let me fly the plane, you know, once we were up there, you know, take a left turn, take a right turn and, and stuff like that. That was that was fun <laughs> so I've flown an actual plane once guys uh, and I've always thought about going back for a while there when I was uh, last year considering trying to look at different uh, options for career paths and stuff like that I was looking into maybe going to pilot school or something like that if not to you know I know it's difficult to become a commercial pilot and oh this is quite the crosswind to become a commercial pilot or, or anything like that and be successful and make money at that. Uh, but if not, you know, you hear of a lot of people ooh, through the cloud. You, know, you go to pilot school and stuff like that and you end up becoming an air traffic controller or just working at an airport or something like that. I'm like, that'd be cool. I looked into that. Uh, it's, it's certainly... Pilot school is certainly an expensive thing. Uh, well, I guess compared to actual, you know, four-year university, maybe it works out to be about the same, but... Uh, uh, there are some companies in the area who do just, you, know, you can sign up and get, you know, just do, have a, uh, do like a, a sample, a first flight, you know, to see if it's something you enjoy. They'll take you up and show you, you know, what's involved with becoming a pilot and take you up for an hour kind of, you know, test flight or something like that to get the full experience for a couple hundred bucks or something. So, I don't know, I've considered that. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, I know uh, through Press Heart to Continue... Dodger's channel. She's friends with uh, one of her roommates. I forgot her name. Rose? Roe? Something like that. One of her videos, she did that same exact thing. Like, take your first pilot lesson or something like that. Uh, seems interesting. I don't know. It's one of those things that I, I'm, I'm wary if I have the personality for. And I'm sure I'm just generalizing, but to be a pilot, you have to be very self-confident and I am the opposite of such things, um, so uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it might be cool to just go up and take a flight, but I don't think I'm going to go full force and, and become a, a, a full-on pilot. I'll stick to the, the whoa, whoa, I'll stick to the, uh, the crappy free flight simulators, thank you. Same thing with becoming an astronaut, I'll just stick with Kerbal Space Program. Ah, indeed. All right. I'm actually getting a little dizzy here. <laughs> These winds keep shifting me around and I'm having to tweak left and right just to make sure. Uh, what is up on this mountain? Is this Mount Achaia? I mean, are the observatories up here? What's my altitude? Oh, I'm above 12,000 feet. I've disregarded the previous advice and I'm putting myself and my passengers in danger. Ah, it is Mount Achaia. That makes sense, being as this is the big island. Let's fly by and get some uh, inspiration if we're going to start to be making our own uh, observatory station up on, on the Minecraft, Minecraft server. Cool beans! So I wonder, well, I doubt it, but I wonder if you, cut, if you like change the time to night. Are all the observatory domes open and stuff like that? 
Meow. Awesome. That's the the road back down. Yeah, that's. It's a, this is a lot less steep of a road than Kit Peak. Kit Peak was uh, you you went up pretty quick. And now it's nice and sunny and beautiful, and it's not raining because we're above the tree line. Although, today would not be a good day for observing, because it looks like there's some clouds that are higher. Yeah, look at this, I'm like flying sideways. I'm not touching the joystick, and I'm... <laughs> it's just the crosswind that's doing that. Whoa, that was... I'm not touching the joystick. That was, uh... Ooh! Some... some major... turbulence. Indeed, astronomy. All right, uh, let's see if there's an airport nearby, and uh, maybe I can fly to it. And whoa, that was not me doing that. What's that little thing over there? Or is that just a tree? I think that's a tree. All right, let's do one more pass around the observatories. Trying not to kill ourselves. Ooh. Ooh. Plenty of fuel left. I keep going by these same ones. Let's check these guys out. Whoa! Alright, maybe not gonna make that. Watch, watch, mountain, mountain, mountain! Ooh. <laughs> observatory, observatory! Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, I cannot turn this direction because I'm going into a headwind. Oh, I see. In the upper left, there's wind. And you can see I'm trying to turn into a headwind that's going 39 knots. Uh, that's not gonna work out for anybody involved, I don't think. Uh, but we'll try it out. All right, let me level myself off. Does M do the map? Yeah, M does the map. Uh, wow, I came a long way. I could probably just fly to the other side of the island if I want to. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's actually, uh, where are we at for time? Yeah, let's take a, a quick commercial break. And when we return, I will fly to the other side of the big island and attempt a landing in this disastrous squall line crosswinds and, and rain and stuff, so be right back with you. And we're back! And I didn't check to see if I was flying in the right direction. West! Okay, yeah, that's the right direction. We're going west, guys! <laughs> Always going west! Um, indeed. Ooh. All right, what else is going on around here? Take it easy. I still keep getting a lot of requests for Kerbal Space Program. Yes, I understand. Uh, I thought about doing that today, but that's one of those games you really have to invest some time into. What with the whole building process, and testing, and then failing, and then say I do an entire mission, and then I, you know, the thing fails as it has in the past. Uh, and I have to start all over again, so uh, I will be returning to Kerbal Space Program soon. Don't 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 freak out. I do have the the forty percent Child's Play Charity fundraiser milestone, which I'm going to elaborate more on in Far Lands or Bust. Probably a video up tomorrow for that. Uh, but the the milestone I'm looking at Friday to get the forty percent up. It's, it's along the same lines, so uh, let's look forward to that. That was a lot of good fun to record, but uh, no more information about that to you guys. Um, so yeah, this is just uh, one of those impromptu... Oh crap, now I don't have a video, i got to get something up on the channel. Whoa, turbulence! Alright, there's some interesting farmlands down there. Throttle down a little bit for no particular reason. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Oh, Christmas. This is not the flying angle I wish to have. <laughs> ah, look at my guy. The sunglasses. I'm awesome. Alright, I think that airport was on this westernmost tip. 
of the island. So let's head over there. There we go. This is uh, high quality aeronautical navigation skills I've got going on here. Uh, I think the airport's over there somewhere. Let's go over there. <laughs> We've got 80%, 87% fuel left. We'll be fine. <laughs> oh, there's an airport down there on the right. Uh, nah, I think I want to go to the far one. Whoa! Alright, 10,000 feet. What was trim? I totally forgot what trim was. Page up, page down, maybe? Ah, who knows. I'll just have to do it manually. Ooh. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, let me know if you guys want to see more of Microsoft Flight. Uh, I'd like to do more multiplayer, but there's just not much involved. I mean, it's just, you know, we could just... Maybe I could find a few other people uh, to, who, who want to load up the game, and we could see about getting more than just two people on, on the same server. But, I mean, even then, it's kind of... Uh, you know, we could try formation flying or something like that, but it's really not much... Uh, there's, n there's not any purpose to the, to the multiplayer section of this game. It's just kind of there and, okay, play the game in multiplayer, whoop de doo I know that people with the actual, like, the full versions of Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, people can get pretty intense with that stuff and, like, you know, certain people play the air traffic controller and certain people, you know, are the pilots and, and you know, they, like, you know, fly from Chicago to Boston and, like, do this entire role-playing thing, uh, uh, which, you know, they have the full, full-on, you know, $300 expensive joysticks with the throttle controls and the rudder pedals underneath their desks and stuff like that, so I, I don't think, uh, I don't think you guys can look forward to that on my channel, but, uh, that's, that's certainly something people do out there, which I guess that's, that's fine. I, <laughs> they want to do that, I mean, people get really into these uh, other actual, like, fantasy role-playing games and stuff like that, so it's just another type of uh, uh, role-playing game. Easy. Easy. I think this is where the airport is. Where's the airport? Oh! To totally passed it up. I was actually going for that one. Uh, but I guess this one looks like a dinky little one. Let's see what's up here. Whoa! Let's first of all see if we can find the airport, and then land on it. Now well, let's get a little bit more interesting scenery for our friends on the ground. Yeah, I can't imagine how long this would take with a Stearman. That's a slow, sluggish little airplane. Although, well, I suppose this airplane is actually smaller. What is this? What are those supposed to be? Like... silos or something? Or... Huh. Unusual graphical features on the, on the ground. <laughs> I find myself... I'm tilting my head to the right to compensate for the tilt in the camera. I always do that in flying games. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like people who, uh, when they're playing first-person shooters, they like, you watch them and they look around the corner <laughs> of a wall, even though it makes no, no, no difference whatsoever in terms of your perspective on the game, but it's one of those things. All right, airport, where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, God, I hope that's not it out there, like, on the beach. <laughs> that's a road. I guess we could always land there if things get desperate. Hmm. No. Not on the beach. Those waves appear to be frozen in time. Level yourself out. 
We are going... What is that? Oh, it's like a radio tower. I'm like, I thought that was some sort of glitch. That's a tall tree. Careful for the guide wires. There's the airport. I see it over there. Oh, that must be, I guess, the... Something associated with the, uh, the airport. Alright, let's do a flyby just to see... Oh, man, this is a short airport. Uh... Oh, wind farm. Wind farm. Well, speaking of wind farm, that's another reason I'm kind of panicked to get a video out is tonight I uh, got a message from some of the Astronomy Club members and they're looking to get out because it's uh, just after a new moon and it's supposed to be clear, so you try to take advantage of that. I haven't used my telescopes in, like... I can't even remember if I used them this year or not. Uh, so I'm going to try to hopefully maybe get out... I'm a student pilot. <laughs> okay, what was I before? This <laughs> somebody who hijacked an airplane? What's going on? Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we're going to go out and try to get out to the dark site, which is a couple hours away from here, so I want to get something up really quick for you guys to enjoy. And it reminded me because uh, the last couple years, the farm area where we have our dark site, we have an arrangement with a farm owner, a landowner out there, uh, an entire whim farm sprung up, and we were freaked out about that, that there would be like a just giant turbine like right in front of our faces while we're trying to observe, which would kind of spoil the view of, of you know, deep space objects to have this, you know, <laughs> thing flapping in front of us, but luckily it isn't too bad. Uh, if you've never seen, or if you don't live by these, these wind turbines, they are gigantic, frightening things. I, obviously, you know, ooh, alternative en energy, that's, that's cool and stuff, but like, just in person, they're like, whatever the hell they are, 20, 30 stories tall, and they make these really eerie, creaky noises when the blades flip, and it's like, you know, it's just, uh, especially, you know, at 2 a.m. when you're observing out there by yourself or with uh, just a few other people to <laughs> constantly hear these noises is, uh, is an interesting thing indeed. I feel like, sorry, we're back in Microsoft Flight now, I feel like, uh, I should land into the headwind because then I'll be able to go slower, right? Pilots, does that work? Oh crap, I didn't, uh, hold on, I have to check on the settings. Do I have flaps? Uh, options. Aircraft controls. Flaps. F5 and F6. What is that on my joystick? Button six and button five. Of course, all my buttons are labeled A, B, C, D. <laughs> that helps. That helps a lot. Um, yeah. What was trim again? I didn't. Oh, shit. Changing stuff. Door. Open, close door. Hmm. Trim. Shift up arrow. That's what it was. Oh, well. Too late for that now. Okay, so. Button three and four, or uh, what was it again? <laughs> uh, flaps, F5, F5, or F6, okay. Resume. Okay, see those flaps kind of went down? I'm going to put them up now because I'm not doing what I want to do. Uh, uh oh, I'm like going out to sea. I remember that I need to go... Uh, I was planning on going into the headwind, okay. Crap, I lost the airport, guys. Uh, okay, there's the wind farm. Great, great news. Oh god, this is happening way too quick. Hold on, I gotta do another circle. 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 Ooh. Alright. I'm going pretty fast here. To Whoa! That was quite the air pocket right there. Easy. Easy. Okay. that down there. 
old mansions from living on the cliffs of Hawaii. It's gonna be cheap. It's a video game, Kurt. People don't actually live there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm, I'm a lot happier about this approach. All right, I'm gonna bleed off some speed by doing some turns here. At least I think that's the approved way to do such things. I just remember in IL-2 Sturmovic, if you lower your flaps when you're going too fast, it actually breaks your flaps, so I don't think they do that in this game, but uh, let's, uh, oh God. Oh god, I'm going still way too fast. Uh, let's put the gear down. I'm just going to shut off the engine. Alright, my flaps are down to their maximum. Going quite fast here. Quite the crosswind, oh god. <laughs> easy, easy. I'm going to have to abort this landing, I think. Uh, oh god. Okay. Break. Break. Break, 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 break. End of the runway. Hooray! At the last possible moment. I did it. Oh man, look at how close I was. Ugh. Indeed. Indeed. That was interesting. Oh, oh. Getting all these weird uh Alright, let's uh let's get off the runway. Woo! Alright, does anybody want to give me a ride back to the uh, the other airport on the other side of the island? Because that's where I parked my car. Right, perhaps... There we go, this is the view. Come on, come yeah, on. I suppose I should put my flaps up, shouldn't I? I don't need those anymore. Alright, I just want to park the airplane. Let's see if I can open up the, the cockpit. What was that command again? <laughs> Driving around. I wonder if anybody's done that in Microsoft Flight. Instead of actually taking off, just keep your speed low enough and just see if you can drive on the roads. <laughs> is that the hangar over there? I'm going to go over there. This is exciting footage, isn't it, guys? Exciting footage for Microsoft Flight. Not actually flying anywhere. Easy, easy. What's that? What is that? Oh, it's the wind vane. Um, it's accurate. It actually. I'm assuming it changes with uh, the winds. That's pretty neat. I guess helpful for such a small airport. You those little. Uh, I don't want to know what goes on in the shack, but uh, I'll just uh, tie up my horse here. Whoa, I'm going to flip over. Oh, God. Oh, good Lord. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> I land perfectly all the way on the opposite side of the thing, but then I end up breaking my plane when I'm on the ground. All right, I, I'm guessing this is an airplane parking spot. I'll have to uh, hotwire that truck over there to get back to where I need to go, but, uh, come on. God, maneuvering planes is hard. Alright, this is this is close enough. <laughs> and... Like a glove. Uh, uh, engine off. Making my own sound effects. And then, uh... Get out of the plane! Do, do, do. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I, I don't don't forget the keys. Remember where you parked. <laughs> See you later. Okay. <laughs> ah, can I jump? No, no jumping. What kind of a backwards airport is this? It's like a corral in there. What's? <laughs> uh, can I get in the car? <laughs> Please let me get in the car. Uh, anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this kind of impromptu and uh, oh, last minute uh, video here. Uh, 
that I created in haste. Hey, those those plates are not valid. <laughs> I'm, uh... <laughs> Indeed. Sorry, I'm a little bit scatterbrained right now. But yeah, this is uh, Microsoft Flight. Like I said, I'll put the link in the video description. If you have this game for a limited time, an unknown limited time, you can get the P-51 Steer... not Steerman, uh, P-51 Mustang for free if you are willing to endure the convoluted and ridiculous process of downloading an add-on for this game. And perhaps I'll be back in this, but certainly look forward to more Minecraft, Kerbal Space Program, Limbo, if, if those guys ever leave me alone, and, and other such things on my channel. I appreciate you following along and watching my videos, no matter how random and ridiculous they may be. My name is Kurt. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Damn, I forgot my umbrella. <laughs>